Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. Welcome to Ramadan Transformation, session number one. Now, in the first session, over the course of the next 28 days of Ramadan, inshallah, you are going to go through a lot. You're going to experience hunger. You're going to experience thirst. You're going to experience sleeplessness. You're going to experience different emotions that go up and down. And at the end of it, there is a possibility that by the end of this month, all you will have actually got out of it is a lot of hunger and a lot of thirst and a lot of sleeplessness and not much else. And I don't want that for you. And you don't want that for yourself. Ramadan isn't about just fasting. And it's not about going for long periods of time without water. And it's not about changing your sleeping patterns, although it includes all of those things. But all of those things have a purpose. And it occurred to me recently that the purpose of doing all of those things is the same as the purpose of Quran coaching itself. And that purpose I'm talking about is the reason why we do all of this stuff is this. That word. That is the reason we do all of this. Transformation. The aim of Ramadan, the aim of Quran coaching, is for you to completely transform your life. Now, you might be thinking, hang on a second, Mamun. I've read the Quran. It doesn't say the purpose of life is transformation. It says the purpose of Ramadan is to لعلكم تتقون, to, so that you may become conscious, right? And you're right. That is the purpose of Ramadan, so that you may become more conscious, so that you may increase your taqwa. But here's the thing. What happens when you increase your taqwa? What I'm going to suggest to you is that the level that you've got the results that you've gotten in life up until now, the results that you've gotten in life up until now have come down to the level of your thinking right now. And if you continue at the same level of thinking that you're currently at, your results are going to absolutely be limited by it. When you increase your consciousness, your level of thinking increases. Things that seemed really hard to you from down here are going to seem totally effortless from up here because you'll have fresh new thinking that wasn't available to you from a lower level of consciousness. So yeah, the immediate aim of Ramadan is to increase your consciousness. And how do you know if that's actually happened? The way you'll know if that's actually happened is you'll experience real transformation. Now, what do I mean by this word transformation? What I mean is you'll experience spontaneous and permanent change. Spontaneous comes out of nowhere and then it's permanent. It lasts forever. That's the real objective of Ramadan. And the truth is, that's the real objective of Qur'an coaching. All of the work that I've been doing in Qur'an coaching has had the exact same objective, to increase your consciousness so that you can, so you can benefit more from your reading of the Qur'an. Now, it's not that the purpose of this transformation is so that you'll be able to read the Qur'an better. It's that the purpose of reading the Quran is to increase you in taqwa and to increase you in your closeness to Allah. So another thing that I mean when I say transformation, what I'm really specifically talking about is increasing your consciousness, being closer to Allah, and realizing that you're closer to Allah. Mastering your nafs, your ego, and really transforming your life in ways that will become apparent to you and other people in the real physical external world, right? So you might have had the experience sometimes where you, maybe you've experienced transformation before. Maybe you've had improved relationships after you worked on yourself, right? Maybe you did some work on personal development and it improved your relationships or your work or your health or your fitness. Well, the aim of Ramadan is to give you the increased consciousness that results in changes in all of those areas. So I'm not going to continually relate this back to each of those areas of life because what I'm actually going to do during this series is show you how what has to happen for the actual transfer, the inner change to happen. 
Now, the first and most important thing that needs to happen for the interchange is for you to get this thing that I call the inside out paradigm. All right. So what we're going to do during these sessions during Ramadan is each day, I'm going to give you a little insight, a little glimpse into how you already work, into how your mind works. And as you get that, it will naturally cause changes to happen within you. When the Quran says, Allah will not change the state of a people until they change within themselves, what I hope to offer you this Ramadan is that change that you've been looking for your whole life. I want you to look back at this Ramadan a week from now, a month from now, a year from now, 10 years from now, and say, that was it. That was the Ramadan that completely transformed my life. So all you need to do is play full out. And all you need to do to play full out is tune in to all of these Ramadan transformation sessions. قولوا قولي هذا واستغفر الله ذي ولكم سبحانك اللهم وبحمدك أشهد أن لا إله إلا أنت استغفرك وأتوب إليك